back at the Pepin Rouge Stadium in Tampa, Florida, and we are set for the Alamo Mile, and we've got a lot of young runners in the field this afternoon as we look at the world and American records, Craig. Well, led by Jeff Atkinson, 10th in the Olympics last year. He won our Olympic trials. He's the guy who says he can run a 347 mile this year, the American record held by longtime number one American Steve Scott. There's Atkinson. Scott ran 347.69 way back in 1982. Atkinson says he's going to break 350 this year. Dwight Stones, just a few, uh, about a 30 minutes ago, it was very hot on the track. You are on the track. What is it like now since the clouds have taken over? I have to tell you, Ron, as you said, the clouds have taken over, and the wind has subsided completely. The wind has subsided completely, and I think that these conditions have improved tremendously from earlier. As we look at the field, the names to watch, Baskin will be a rabbit early on. Atkinson, Jackson, Kennedy, Gallagher, Calhoun, and Hacksteiner. And there is a lot of people running in the race. Craig, talk about a big field like this. What is the start going to be like? Altogether too many, in my opinion. Fifteen guys at the starting line. Baskin, of course, is the guy who we see sprinting out to the lead. Member of our 800-meter Olympic team last year in Florida, training with another Olympian in the 800 meters, Mark Everett. And I spoke to him just before the race. He asked me, how do you be a rabbit? He's never done it before. <laughs> when you're a great runner like that, you're not used to doing that. I said, well, go out slowly so you don't get far ahead like he is here. Rabbits only are useful when they're leading the guys behind to a faster time. Well, he will be the rabbit for the first 800 meters, and he is leading right now. They will change rabbits at the 800-meter spot. Bob Kennedy, of course, is also running this, the cross-country champion, one of the bright young American stars, and that is also someone we should watch early on. Well, it's an interesting story with Kennedy. He's from the University of Indiana, won the NCAA cross-country championships as a freshman, first American ever to do that, and in recent years, one of the only Americans to win that event. Uh, the thing about Kennedy is he says he's a miler. He's got good 400-meter speed, ran 403 indoors. Well, it is still Tracy Baskin's leading. And uh, he is the, uh, the rabbit right now with Jim McKeon second, and that is a name that you just, during the commercial break, you said, keep an eye on this guy. Well, McKeon's a good runner. That's not actually him in second, however. We're looking at the man, David Ryan. David Ryan, formerly of William & Mary. Ryan told me before his best is 4.05 in the mile, hopes to improve that. 3.42 in the 1,500 meters. With young runners like this, Craig, what are the different styles that, we, that we're seeing right now? Are there some that rather go out fast or some lay back? Do we have a lot of different styles in this mile? Well, I think at this point, uh, people saw the weather earlier in the day. You know, it was so hot earlier in the day. Uh, I heard Mike Tyson volunteered to show up as meat physician to treat anybody <laughs> that suffered from heat prostration. But when it's hot like this, it takes away the motivation of athletes. Guys who were here before, they were lackadaisical. They said, well, I guess it's going to be a tactical race. And it certainly turned into that. Over 60 seconds at the quarter mile, now coming in over two minutes at the half mile. It's the kind of running that was being done 20 years ago. Uh, easily, of course. 202.8 is the unofficial time at the half mile. That's not good miling. If you want to set world records, if you want to qualify for championships, you've got to go a lot faster than that. As we take a look at David Ryan running number one and Dwight Stones, that is a surprise. Wouldn't you think that David Ryan is out front? As especially at this point in the race. Well, I think at this point, really, no one is running fast. The pace has picked up just a little down the backstretch, and the people that we would expect to move into contention have moved up there. In third is Ray Flynn, Jim McKean in fourth, Roosevelt Jackson on the outside there, and Bob Kennedy also up there, Atkinson measuring them. He's the guy who told us with 500 meters to go, I like to move up into second or third. El Raton to his friends, Jeff Atkinson. And uh, we see him there, the multicolored outfit. And Jeff Atkinson said, of course, like you were mentioning uh, on his kick, he likes to go the last 30% of the race. He tries to, to make some type of a move. And now it's McKean into the lead. McKean had an operation this winter, has been suffering from a foot injury. 3.05 at three quarters. Now this is down to a sprint race, and it's really going to be a question of who has good position and who's got good finishing speed this early in the season. Well, we've had a lane change with McKean dropping to second place. And now the field is starting to move quickly. They are starting to pick up on the leader. Look at Atkinson on the outside. Here he comes. Now in the Olympic trials, he already had the lead at this point, but he's a guy who has such confidence in his finish as we see McKean chasing him and Flynn, the great Irish miler, 349 miler from Ireland, pushing into second. But it's all Atkinson. 
It is Jeff Atkinson. His coach, Brooks Johnson, believes that speed can be taught. It isn't a natural thing. Atkinson came in as a 54 second quarter miler to Stanford University. Now he runs 49 second quarters in practice. And it's all Atkinson. Very fast on his last lap. Atkinson, Flynn, and McKean is the 1-2-3 for the Alamo Mile this afternoon. But there is Jeff Atkinson. Hopes to be a Hollywood producer, director, and writer someday. Living out in Southern California. And right now, he wrote the script to a victory in the mile at the Florida Gatorade Track and Field Invitational. Look at Atkinson. He really wasn't in that good position. But with a slow pace like this, he's very confident about his speed. He measured these guys, actually passed at a point a little early for, for him in the sense that if he wasn't going to pass them prior to this turn, he probably should have waited until off the turn. I really think he's just testing himself here. He's saying, from how far out can I go? How far out can I dominate these guys? 54.8 for his last 400 meters. That's the kind of running he's going to have to do later in the summer as we see Flynn and McKean just unable to give, pay, uh, give chase. You know, when he won the Olympic trials last year, they said, what was your biggest win before this? He thought about it for a second. He says, you know, I've never won a race before the <laughs> Olympic trials. Well, he is a graduate of Stanford University, two-time NCAA All-American, 85 in 1986. But right now he is the champion at the mile as we look at Jeff Atkinson, 26 years old from Manhattan Beach, California. You know, he told me before the race, he said, this Alamo mile will be one to remember. And it was indeed that for Jeff Atkinson as he wins it this afternoon under the clouds of the Florida skyline. That just about wraps it up for the Florida Gatorade Track and Field Championships. For our entire crew, Craig Masbach and Dwight Stones, I'm Ron Thulin. That's it from Tampa. But we'll be back with more of U.S. Olympic gold in a moment.